My name is Amr Azim. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. And uh, I would like to discuss uh, sex selection. Couples are interested in uh, uh, selecting the sex of uh, the, their baby, uh, whether uh, they would want a, a, a boy or a girl. And um, let's first discuss why would somebody want to select the sex of a baby. Uh, the most common indication, to be honest, is that they would have one sex and they would want the other sex because they would like to enjoy parenting a boy and a, uh, and a girl or multiple boys and multiple girls. Uh, they would not like their children to be of the same sex, uh, all of them of the same sex. Uh, the other indication could be related to genetic abnormalities that preferentially affect men more than women or, or uh, rarely vice versa. Uh, and, uh, um, and because of that, they would want, would like to select the sex that is not affected by genetic disease. There are variations among societies of uh, who would prefer uh, to have boys and who would prefer to have uh, girls, including even there are variations in Western countries between who would prefer to have uh, between the United States and other European countries, for example, of their preference. Um, um, my concern is to explain how it is done. Um, there were older methods that were suggested related to the, t the position of intercourse uh, and uh, attempting to select uh, the sex through uh, sorting the sperm between uh, the, uh, 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 the sperm uh, 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 into an X-bearing sperm and a Y-bearing sperm. The Y-bearing sperm is what, what produces a, 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 a boy after fertilization and the X-bearing sperm is what produces uh, um, a, a girl after fertilization um, and uh, th all these methods are not accurate and they uh, do not yield the desired sex um, signif at a significant higher odds uh, than, uh, than uh, just chance or natural intercourse. Um, it, 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 the majority of uh, couples that are interested in sex, couples that are interested in sex selection uh, are interested in uh, knowing for sure or with certainty that they will achieve uh, pregnancy with the desired sex. So uh, the method that is uh, 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 that can achieve that to uh, uh, a percentage of 100% certainty or close to 100% certainty is in vitro fertilization. Uh, after the eggs are harvested from the ovary and fertilized uh, in the lab, the embryos are grown to uh, for uh, three, four, or five days, and then one or few cells from the embryo, uh, from each embryo, are, uh, are uh, biopsied, meaning separated from the embryo. This usually does not damage the embryo or cause any defect in the embryo, and then the DNA of the cells uh, is tested for the X and the Y chromosomes, and sometimes other chromosomes. And then uh, the uh, desired uh, embryo, after uh, diagnosing the sex of that embryo, is transferred back into the uterus. Uh, one important point to mention is that women that respond uh, very well to ovarian stimulation, otherwise women that have good ovarian reserve, are more likely to achieve the desired sex because, uh, of, of, the, of the embryo than uh, women with lower ovarian reserve. That's why this is an important point. So, if you have a good number of eggs in the ovary, then you will produce a good number of uh, then you produce a good number of eggs, and you will have a good number of embryos, and you will have higher chance of finding the desired sex. Uh, uh, sex selection is a simple procedure, uh, a simple addition to IVF, and is performed routinely in many IVF programs.